Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to fully service the rear differential, as well as just replacing the rear differential fluid. And the items you'll need for this is a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet with an extension, 3 8 inch ratchet, hammer and cold chisel, vacuum, razor blade, rags, wire brush, drip pan, differential fluid, and we recommend jack and jack stands. Now your rear differential is located right here, and the drain plug for it is right here. So if all you're doing is changing the fluid, you just want to remove this plug, so just using a 3 8 inch ratchet. Loosen and remove the plug. Make sure you have a drip pan underneath. And when you pull the plug out, the fluid will just drain out. And then once it's done draining, replace the plug. And if this is corroded, there is another way to drain it, which we're going to show you now, because we're going to show you how to fully service this rear differential. And our bolts are in rough condition, so we're just using a cold chisel and a hammer to reshape the bolts. And you can see it's redefining the edges of the bolts, making it easier to get a socket on there. These bolts are 13 millimeter, um, but after we knocked the rust off, we actually took a half inch socket and hammered onto the bolts. Um, that gets a nice tight seal and then we're able to remove the bolts. And we'll just fast forward here as Mike removes that bolt the rest of the way. And then he's just going to repeat the procedure on each of those other bolts all the way around the differential cover. And for the higher ones it does get a little more difficult and you will need an extension for your socket and ratchet to actually remove those bolts. Make sure you have a drip pan below the differential cover before you remove the last of the bottom bolts. And you want to just remove those. Now using your chisel, just hammer out on the bottom of the diff cover. And then replace the bolt at the top of the differential cover. And then use your chisel and hammer again on the other side. And just let the fluid drain out. Now after it's drained for a while, just pry out on the bottom. And then remove that bolt. and then pull the cover down and out. Now, if any debris falls down inside of here, as you can see right there, you just want to vacuum all of it out. And then take a rag, make sure it's somewhat clean, and just wipe everything down, and just stick this rag back in there and then using a razor blade just cut off that old gasket along the outside and then just use a wire brush to get any leftover residue of the gasket if you're putting your old um, cover back on you obviously want to scrape all this off as well as you can as well as clean out the inside. This is a magnet here and you can see this is all metal residue, just very fine metal shavings uh, from the inside of the differential. So you'll want to clean all that off. 
And as we said before, you could just drain the differential and then refill it um, with new oil, um, but you'll still have all the medical metal particles on the magnet. Uh, it's a good idea to pull off the cover and clean off all the metal from that magnet so it can continue doing its job. Okay, so as you can see here, we're actually putting a new differential cover on this vehicle. Um, and obviously you could do that and get one of those from 1AAuto.com. We're using a light coat of RTV and then we're going to put the gasket on and another light coat. If you were reusing your old differential cover, you would just follow the directions on the gasket maker of the RTV um, and use probably a larger bead. Make sure there's no fluid on the outside here. And then take your differential cover and feed it up into place. And you want to just replace the top bolt to hold it in. And then we'll just fast forward as he replaces the rest of the bolts. And be sure to put this brake line clip back in place with the last bolt. Um, and then we just follow the directions on the sealant. We tighten up the bolts uh, most of the way, let it sit and form the gasket a little bit, and then go through and tighten the bolts. We tighten them to 15 foot-pounds, kind of using a crossing pattern and then just go all the way around them to make sure that we got them all. Now remove this filler plug using your 3 8 ratchet and ours is in kind of rough condition so we're just going to hammer the ratchet into place. And then just remove that plug. Now replace the differential fluid and you want to just do this until it starts to pour over the side and when it starts to pour over the side you can just put your pinky in there and make sure that the fluid's right to the top of the filler hole and if it is then you're all set and you can replace your cap. Now just tighten it up with your ratchet. And you're all set. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.